Well, hi guys, I'm Celestial Shadows, and today I'm gonna go for Shin's good route, finally, before I move on to the other routes. And I might do the Yuki's and Shin's memories afterwards, maybe. Well, anyways, guys, on to Shin's good route. And it's, I'm not very good with directions. What? You had no trouble explaining it on the way here. Looks like I've got no choice. And of course it's black tea. I don't really mind. But why would you make that? You just felt like it, right Celeste? <laughs> well, whatever. And of course, no need to go to any trouble. You're acting strange. There's no problem if I take one day off from prep. Huh? So he also attends a prep school? Anyway, see you tomorrow. And the rest is the same. Will you buy me cake then? Look at that. So no. Your face is already pretty round. If you can't wait, we'll show right away. What? That's not something you should say to a girl? Did you apologize to my dad at the hospital? <laughs> yeah. I really thought he'd act react negatively to that, so... Oh well. I'm always wrong. Oh. It wasn't exactly a great moment. I would have preferred that you remembered something about me where I was cooler. It's okay. It actually was pretty admirable. That's good. It sounds like you can remember some things again, at least. No, I don't mind. Oh. Really? Then maybe I won't hold back. A lot has happened, but it looks like at least some of your feelings are still there. I guess that's why you didn't mind getting kissed all of a sudden. That's good. There's no use dwelling on it. I should think of it as a long-term battle. You made me cry after my performance. You sure remember the worst moments. It's because you weren't any good. Just putting this out there, but you were better the second time. And I told you so then. Huh? I see. Maybe Shen's attitude was enough to motivate you. Either way, you've been making good progress in remembering. And the rest is the same. I can't trust other people. It's I don't want a lot of people to know. I get where you're coming from. So you want to go to work and hide your amnesia? Unless your injuries will keep people from expecting too much from you for a while. It's are you here to pick me up? You're looking at me with those puppy dog eyes again. Even with amnesia, you're just the same as you were before. It makes me want to tease you. As much as I like to play around, I just came by to say hi to Waka. I'll be heading back to school right after. Wait, who is Waka again? Since he's looking for him here, maybe he's referring to the manager? And everyone help me out. Well, it's good you're aware of that. I'll go say hi, so just wait here. Huh? Celeste, so wouldn't it be better if you went with him? Why are you coming along? Well, whatever. The rest should be the same. Um, and apparently this is new. Don't worry, Shin. I fully understand that our injuries haven't healed yet. She actually was quite lovely in those bandages with her uniform on. I wish you could have seen her. I'm good. Anyway, you should let her have some rest. I'm sure you have your own studies to get to, don't you? Yes, I'll see you again sometime. I'm looking forward to it. So Shen came to find me.
and I completely forgot your voice, but, well... Wait, what do you mean? The people who found you were named Iggy and Kent. What? What could that mean? And who's that? Celeste, do you recognize that name? You must be really confused. Do you remember Iggy and Kent? The, the guests were there at the lodge, too. And of course, it's thank you, Toma. I was just defending Shen. There's no need for you to thank me. Although, I understand why you'd be thankful toward anyone who defended Shen. Alright, that's enough. And it's sorry, Toma. Shen and I were going to go out. Sorry, Toma. Alright, alright. I got it. Have fun, you two. Sorry. Anyway, let's go somewhere. Do you mind if it's crowded? We should go out to eat. Hmm? Going out again? That's fine, but watch your health. If you take it too easy, your body will get weak before you even know it. And then you'll have a really hard time. Oh, alright. If you're not feeling well, let me know right away. I'm not trying to push you to your limit or anything. Well, there you go, Celeste. I'm pretty worried about you too, but I think Shin's trying to show how much he cares about you. We're back! You walked around quite a bit, but you didn't seem to have too much trouble. Maybe it's because you got to take a lot of breaks? Anyway, I'll be going home now. Why are you making such a confused looking face? I'm still not recovered. It'd be a problem if I came in now. Or are you that sure that I'm your boyfriend? Uh, I guess he's right, Celeste. Then again, he did use his key to come into your room before. I guess that doesn't count? I've wanted to ask this for a while, but... Right now, how do you feel about me? Am I a childhood friend to you? Family? Or do you actually accept that I'm your boyfriend? Before, I was kind of forceful about getting you to accept me as your boyfriend. But now I'm confused. I did a lot for you to finally see me in that way. To have that sense of something more between us. But now, I feel like I need to hold back. I don't want to end up getting treated as a brother again because of it. Since you can't remember, I'm going to say this. I want us to be together, Celeste. I don't want to just be treated like a brother. And a new choice. That is kind of how I see you. That's not a problem. I'll make you see me as a man. Wait, you all have to say the same thing to you when I confessed to you before, don't you? Ah! But I'm older than you, you know? What does that have to do with it? You just happened to be born half a year before me. That's true, but... Also, we've been together ever since we were kids. I can't just see you as a regular guy after all this time. Don't worry. I'll make you see me as a man before you even know it. We should go out. But if we do, and things go bad, we won't be able to go back to the way things were before. I already can't go back. I can only see you now as the girl I'm interested in. If you absolutely don't like the idea, I'm not going to force you. But I can't just be your childhood friend anymore. That's not fair. That's like a threat. If you think of that as a threat, then maybe that means there's still hope. I'm 
sure that means that you don't like the idea of not being able to talk to me. That's... Of course I wouldn't like that. We've been together ever since we were born. Of course I wouldn't... I wouldn't like not being able to see you. Then, we should be together. If you were to get a boyfriend, we wouldn't be able to see each other anyway. Either way, something would have to change. We can't stay like this forever. Let's date. Don't worry, you'll get used to the idea before you even know it. Why are you spacing out? Did you remember something? So, what's your answer? And just don't be too forceful. I'll take that as an agreement. I got it. Then from now, And I never would have gotten the CD. Wow, I missed a few CDs then. I've wanted to do this for a long time. I'm not kidding. It's painful to have a girl like you, so close by, being unable to do anything. I was trying to wait until your memories came back, but I can't. I have no idea when that might happen. There's no way I can wait. I don't know what I would do if I just kept waiting, only for you to treat me like a brother again. These past three months would have been for nothing. I'll make sure you remember those feelings again. The feeling of being nervous, never knowing when I might kiss you. Well, I'll just go home for today. Your next day off is the day after tomorrow, alright? I'll see you then. Wow, that was a surprise. I see. Now I finally see why he asked you. He asked why you weren't nervous that time he kissed you in the hospital. Even though you might have been going out already, he was always teasing you with sudden kisses. I know he wants you to feel excited and all, but this isn't very good for your heart. Uh, was it really okay to agree like that? It's would you be okay with it being so loud? Why not? It's not like I dislike loud and exciting things. Oh, I see. That's unexpected. It doesn't seem that way at all. What's happening with Shin? He's willing, well, he's willingly cooperating with the investigation. We've experienced no problems with him. Really? He's willingly cooperating? But we can't even contact him. If you don't mind, let's begin. First, I'd like to ask you about the circumstances of you falling off the cliff. And the correct answer is I was running in the dark and slipped. I see. Shen did say that, right? It seems you were trying to flee from the suspect before falling. Why is that? Um, I was a bit embarrassed that he was so close. At least I was right about that. I see. Jen did say that, right? After the time that you collapsed, do you remember any anyone approaching you? And it's, I don't know. I see. When you regain consciousness, which part of your body felt the most in pain? And at least I was right with that too. I don't remember. I see. You say you are in a relationship with this man. Has he had a history of violence or stalking you? No way. I see. Thank you for your cooperation. Your answers were most helpful. I'll be taking my leave now. And of course, it's ellipses. It seems there are circumstances. Regardless, I think that huge idiot Kent would know the most about the events from then. What? Huge idiot? 
Kim was the one leading the search team that night, after all. If it's alright, I would like to walk with Toma. And of course, I have to choose Toma. Alright then, let's go. Wait there after you get dressed. It's really comforting to be around Toma. He's like your older brother. So I'm sure Shin won't mind. And I thought Shin would mind, but... Never know. I'm Toma Toma. What's wrong? You don't want dinner? Are you feeling pretty wary of me? Just so you know, I've known you since you were born. I don't have any feelings like that towards you. Uh, Jin's known her since he was born too, but he definitely has feelings for her like that. Alright. I don't really get it, but stop trying so much. Let's just eat. And try to relax, please. If you can do that for me, I'll do whatever you say later. Even if you ask me to leave. And... Okay, just while we're eating. So, you are feeling really cautious. It's kind of strange, being treated like an ordinary guy by you. I hope your memories come back soon. This is just too weird. Although, special times like these would disappear when they do come back. I feel a little conflicted thinking about that. How much have you remembered? Even though you lost your memories, you haven't just forgotten that you like Shin, have you? Could you forget something like that? I wonder what it feels like to lose your memories. Why is he so quiet all of a sudden? Sorry, it's nothing. Let's see. And one hour later. Huh, today ended without any sort of progress. Jen has prep school today, right? He said they let him go to school, but does he even have time to study? I know you're feeling down, but try not to get too depressed, Celeste. And Shin is calling me. A call from Shin? This is a first, isn't it? I think it is. It's me. You doing alright? Sorry I couldn't contact you. And that's just you about what's going on. I'm kind of tired. I really want to see you, but... I shouldn't be saying that now. Well, you see... The reason I called you is, the thing I said before about us going out, I think I should take that back. I'll stop. I'll just cause you trouble. Just like how my dad killed someone, and I got persecuted too. If I'm treated like a killer, it'll make things harder on you. You don't even remember liking me, right? It's fine. You don't need to force yourself to remember. This might be more convenient. It's okay if you go and fall in love with someone else. Th this isn't like you. That's right! It's not like him! If he's suspected of this, he just has to show he's innocent! I see. It's not like me. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for saying something so pathetic. I always want to look cool in front of you. But I'm serious when I say it's okay for us to break up. If it gets to be too painful for you, just go ahead. Things have been pretty rough, but I've been looking into things and asking questions. Don't worry too much over me. I'll just rest out Tombonsawa. See you later. He hung up! He seemed really tired, didn't he? I wonder what he's been looking into. Heard you love the search? It's I heard you rescued me. Yes. Ikyo and I went to the place that had the highest probability of your... of your being there. The others were... girl... The others were guy-girl pairs. 
So we figured it would be best if, you fa if we found you. Huh? What does that mean? After receiving a request from Shin to search for you, the first thing we did was illuminate the entire facility. I figured if you were conscious, you would head towards the light. After that, we checked a map and calculated the places you could have fallen. Is this the same? Nope. I had the owner who knew the facility best, and Rico pair up to look around the lodge. Yuko and Minya lacked both mobility and strength, so I had them check if you returned to the top of the cliff. Since Iku and I knew your fault tra trajectory, we started at the bottom and worked our way up for possible landing sites. In other words, we took charge of most pos possible route, and had the others take care of the less possible areas. Uh, okay, they lost me in the details a bit, but did you get the general idea of it? It sounds like they were able to find you quickly because they gave good directions to the others and considered all possibilities. Anyway, that's about all we know. Anything else you want to ask? And the right answer is go with Tilma. You haven't changed since kindergarten. I'll wait, so get changed. Still, I'm sure I've sure been coming into this room pretty often lately. Ever since you and Shin started going out, I stopped coming here because he didn't like it. I haven't really talked to him much in the past two years. Wait, really? Hey, have you remembered the reason why he and I stopped getting along? And it's... Could I ask why? Not a big deal. It's not something I have to hide. And you already know it anyway. The reason was you, Celeste. What? That's, does that mean they were fighting over you? Or something? When you were in your second year of high school, you joined a band. And Shin said some pretty harsh things about you. Oh, you do remember that? That was awful. I don't know how the performance actually was, but... You didn't need to go that far. That ended up being the reason why Shin and I stopped getting along. Wait, seriously? Well, even before then, we had our disputes and didn't always see eye to eye. Even now, I feel like a guardian over the two, over the two, over the two of you. But he was probably really annoyed by that. Still, for as long as I can remember. Felt like you guys' older brother. That's never changed, even until now. You can't just be an ordinary fellow friend or feel unrelated to you. That goes for Shin. And for you too. Shin and I both want to look after you and protect you. But our ways of doing it are completely different. The event after your performance just made us fully realize that fact. I see. Now that I think about it, back then, Toma was defending you, and Jin said that Toma was just spoiling you. They were both arguing for your sake, but I guess that ended up driving them apart. August 19th. It's been a week since the police took Shin away. It seems like the investigation of the accident is at a standstill. Unless your memories come back. And just walking around your house like this doesn't seem to be bringing them back. Ordinary day-to-day -day life might not be enough simulation anymore. <sighs> I guess you should just go home for now. Just wandering around alone won't accomplish anything. Yeah, yeah, you do believe it, right? You have no reason to doubt him. Anyway, in, this, in that case, there's a culprit out there who isn't me. What? A culprit? Eh, uh, no. It's I was just so happy to remember again. I'm happy too. Back then, 
Even though it was pretty much my fault, you both. You defended me so desperately. It made me really happy. I'd already endured being looked at without doubt and fear for so long. Thank you for remembering. Zelas! Shade! We found something that looks like sliding marks! Could you come over here and check this out? This area out? I'll be right there! And of course, the right answer is, are you scared? What? Are you an idiot? I am afraid. I'm not afraid to risk my life for you. But I'm afraid to hurt someone. If someone were to attack, would I really be able to, to swing this bat? Thinking about that makes me scared. But I'd have to do it. I don't have a choice. I'll protect you, no matter what. I already decided that I'd never let anyone hurt you again. And it's where are you in the band with me? No, not exactly. So, did you want to join the band with her then? What? We weren't playing an instrument before. This is the first time I've seen, ever seen this kind of equipment here. That was around the time you started distancing yourself from me. Did you start after seeing her live performance? By the way, what instrument are you playing? The bass. I see. That's right, you were always saying how the person playing bass in the band wasn't any good. Wait! So, was, all, was this all true? Did Shin start playing an instrument because he wanted to join your band? I've never seen such at such a loss for words before. That doesn't matter now. I'm going to make dinner, so help me out. My mom will be home until late. Uh-oh. He's all mad now. It was Toma. Hmm. What? Just a huh? No way, that's not even... I don't want to think about it. And something different. Distract him. Huh? What do you mean, distract him? Aren't you going to be right back? How long do we need to distract him? Ugh, Shin! You could explain yourself once in a while. Huh. I haven't done something that stupid in a long time. I feel like I'm back in elementary school. Um, anyway, you should distract him with a topic that'll take a long time to discuss. What kind of kid, what kind of kid was Shin? Let's see. He was a crybaby, but always really conceited somehow. He thinks he was just a cute little kid until his father's incident happened. But from my point of view, that wasn't true at all. He was always really arrogant. Huh, so that's how he was. All right, when you were in third grade, the boys in your class. And 30 minutes later. You know, Shin sure is taking a long time. Where did he go? I'm back. You're late. Where'd you go shopping? A department store or something? I went to a supermarket in the next town over. The convenience stores here don't carry melon soda. You must really like that stuff. Is that a problem? I've got coffee for you two, here. Also, Toma, thanks for letting me borrow your wallet. I'll pay you back tomorrow. Don't worry about it, it's not much. All right, thanks. So, what were you two talking about? A cute story about when you were little. That's terrible. You really should try not acting like your grandpa for a day. Don't talk to your grandpa like that. 
You realize I was telling it to help her remember, right? Oh, thanks for that. And Celeste, thanks for keeping Toma occupied. What? Where did all this sarcasm suddenly come from? I was always like this. Was that really sarcasm? No, it wasn't. He was thanking you for talking to Toma and buying him time. Shin, just what were you doing all this time? I wonder if he'd tell you. Hey, mind if I sit next to you? The second time the police took me away, I seriously started thinking that I should let you go. You forgot about falling in love with me, and the time we spent together in childhood was erased completely. I started to feel like I was just causing you trouble. I didn't want to make you worry about anything. So, I thought that I should just let you go and forget. I figure that if the new you fell in love with someone else, that wasn't something I could do anything about. But it was no good. I can't let you go. Sorry. I always thought the reason you and Toma stayed by my side was because we were childhood friends. That it wasn't because you liked me as an individual. It was just natural for you to be on my side. So I thought it would be best to change from family to just a normal man. But you lost your memories. And you forgot everything about me along with them. I got really sc scared whenever I thought that you just suddenly disappear from somewhere. But, you still remained here, by my side, the whole time. You believed in me. You know, it takes a lot of guts to stand by a guy who might have pushed his girlfriend off a cliff. When I, rem when I remember that, I think you're really amazing. When I went to see you, your first live performance. I hate to say this, but I honestly thought you didn't have that talent. That's why I said such hard things to try to get you to quit. And if you didn't intend to quit, I'm going to declare that you'd better be prepared to work yourself to death. But then the next year, you were like a different person. I had always seen you as just a childhood friend until then, but the first time, I thought you were beautiful. I knew all, all the pathetic and stupid things about you, but I fell in love with you anyway. And he also knew, deep down, that you really had put in a crazy amount of effort. After the performance ended, you came rushing over to me with the biggest smile on your face. You asked me how you did it. How you did and you were full of confidence. All I could say was something stupidly simple like, you did well. And even then, you still seemed to be super happy with what I said. You said it was all because of the harsh criticism I gave you, and you said thank you. I thought I had lost. That was the first time I felt like I could never win against someone, and it was you of all people. To tell you the truth, I already knew you were loved by those around you. I said you were smart, a hard worker, earnest. But that was like an image you worked so hard to maintain. In reality, you do a lot of goofy things. I know the real you, but you don't have to work so hard to impress me. I already know you're amazing. That's right in front of me. You can keep being your silly self. I'll protect the sweet, silly part of you, and the hard-working part of you. I'll protect everything. I'll be a man you can be proud to know. Though I'm kind of scared. Hey, could you sing me a song? It 
doesn't matter what. Anything that you remember now. And I don't think I can sing like before. Then you just have to practice again. You were able to do it once, so you can do it again. Just sing for me. All right then, yeah, after work. You know the crossing after you leave the cafe and turn the corner? Under the ho highway. Yeah, there. Let's meet there. Oh, hold on a sec. Are you up? I'm gonna leave the room, so just wait a sec before you start changing. Sorry, it's nothing. Anyway, is that okay with you? All right, see you after work. Good morning. It seems like Shane was setting up some sort of meeting. I guess we're going to settle this after work. Were you listening? Today after work, head over with Toma to the crossing by the cafe. He knows the place I'm talking about. I don't think anything will happen, but be careful just in case. Anyway, I'll go outside, so get dressed. Yeah, I guess I can't blame him. But it seems really harsh to have to say something like, be careful about Toma. I'm sure Shin is one, the one suffering the most right now, out of everyone. Hey, good morning. Did you happen to stay over at Shin's last night? I thought I heard your voice over the phone this morning. I dropped by your place on the way here, but nobody was home. So, was I right? Even without your memories, you still choose Shen. And that wasn't the case yesterday. I see. But it's true that you trust him enough to spend the night alone with him. Let's get to work. Several hours later. Huh. Work's all done. You have to go to the meeting place. We should go, Celeste. She next me to walk over with you. Thirty minutes later. You know, you were at waiting for me the other day, too. What happened with prep school? You're lying about class being canceled, right? I can make up for all that exam studying later. Right now, I can't concentrate because I want to settle this. It'll really be really funny if you fail your exams because of this. I'm not going to give you anything to laugh about. So let's settle this. All right, where should we begin? Celeste, come over here. On that day, you were the one who heard her when she was collapsed at the bottom of the cliff, right? Let me ask you one thing. Why do you think that? Process of elimination, among other things. The first thing that bothered me was what you said when she was discharged from the hospital. Wait, Shen. She just got out of the hospital yesterday. Why'd you bring her all the way over here? Celeste, you look kind of pale. Is your head hurting? You ask, is her your head hurting? Remember that? I don't remember. Did I? What would be so strange about that? It's true she hit her head, but at first glance, the ones on her neck were the worst. She was bleeding pretty bad, and they even said at the hospital that those wounds could have been fatal. The people at the scene saw that too. After she was discharged, everyone noticed the, notices, noticed the bandages around her neck first. So why? 
Would you suddenly be so concerned about her head, Toma? Because I heard her neck wasn't feeling as painful. I figured a blunt hand would cause more lasting pain. Okay, I see. Then let's leave it at that. Also, about her memories. She never said a word about regaining consciousness at the bottom of the cliff before losing her memories. She probably realized I couldn't have gone to find her, knowing what happened, so she dismissed the memory as nothing. Yet it was among the first things she remembered after she lost her memories, and lost all of the preconceptions she had. And she spoke about it directly and openly, that I had gone and found her. But I didn't go. That means someone she could have mistaken as me went and found her. She just mistook that person as me. Well, let me ask you this. Is there really no possibility at all that you went and found her yourself? None. It's impossible. If I had gone and done something to her, to her, I'd have blood on my clothes. That blood pattern, there was blood all over the place. It's not like she had been merely pushed. That person probably tried to pick her up while she was covered in blood and tried to carry her on their back. They probably put their hands on the wounds on her neck to stop the bleeding. That's the most likely reaction. But if they did all that, wouldn't have just been their hands that got bloody. They could wash their hands, but not their clothes. And what would happen if they showed up back at the lodge looking like that? It would have been painfully obvious that they had touched her. But I don't fit the bill at all, either. Everyone knows I didn't find her, and I came back to the lodge. But by the time you returned, she had been brought back already and everyone was in a complete panic. If you immediately rushed over to her and held her right away, your clothes would have been bloody instantly. Nobody would notice or care what you looked like a second before. I see. At the very least, we know it wasn't you then. But it still doesn't mean it was me. The shoe prints. If they're taken to the place, they can do a comparison. I doubt it. The person in question probably already disposed of those those shoes that's very suspicious of you to say you do know that I took pictures of them before they were torn away right I guess but there's no guarantee that it would serve as sufficient proof then one more thing there were two reasons we went back to the lodge the first was to help bring back her memories the second was to see the culprit go and search for evidence if brought back to the scene of the crime I figured they would go around and check if any evidence remained. But the people who found evidence were me and Sawa. You don't know who was in charge of that search. I do know. I had Sawa record your conversation the whole time. Hmm? Wow. So you'd actually go that far? Sawa helped us out a lot. The reason Sawa argued with you when you tried to go dispose of evidence that night was because I had her keep and watch. If I was awake in the room with you, it would have been too cautious to try and leave. That's why I asked her. I asked her to wait a while, and if anyone tried to leave their rooms, to call out to them. I see! So that's why Sal was up so late! And the same clothes she had worn earlier that day! I never thought something like that would happen, though. I feel terrible for asking her. Hey, was that really an accident? Are you sure you didn't shove Sawa down those stairs? Toma. It was an accident. Was it really Toma? So he was found trying to dispose of the evidence by Sawa? I was just worried about you. And I didn't pay any attention to Sawa's room. I saw that you'd finally fallen asleep, but the moment I left the room, she called out to me. I panicked and ended up elbowing her. I don't think I even hit her that hard, though. Salva was probably startled. She lost her footing and fell down the stairs. I was honestly shocked when it happened. I didn't intend for that to happen at all. I think so, too. Even though you heard her, you panicked and left evidence everywhere. Now that I think about it, I doubt you'd ever be so cold-blooded to try and cover that up. I wanted to come forward and apologize, but I didn't want her to know what I was trying to do. Now, 
I could finally apologize to Sawa. Thanks for figuring out it was me, Shin. And? What about when you hurt Celeste? Why'd you do it? That was an accident, too. I tried to pick her up, but my hand slipped. That's a lie. I'm serious. The reason I didn't admit it was because I lost my chance. By the time I made up my mind to admit everything and return to the lodge, it was already declared an accident. When she regained consciousness in the ambulance, she looked at me and smiled and said, Thank you. I couldn't say anything. If I brought it up again and came forward, it would just hurt her. I made up my mind to carry the burden of this crime to my grave. Of course, when the suspicion was cast on Yushin, and, uh, oh well. But I firmly believe that the suspicion would be cleared. We were completely innocent after all. Just so you know, if you did happen to be arrested and charged for it, I, I would have talked right away. I don't doubt that. While I was heading for questioning, held for questioning, I came to protest to the police many times. You even helped my mom in writing a, a petition. I know better than anyone that you never intended to have me pay for your crimes. All you wanted was for this to be passed off as an accident. You didn't want anyone to be blamed. But that's wrong. Even if it was just for a moment, you had a malicious intent. You can't just pretend that it didn't happen. I can. Shin. You might have evidence of the crime, but not of the motive. I'm always going to say it was an accident. I'm sorry for trying to hide it, but... I didn't hurt her out of malice. There's no reason at all why I would want to hurt her. There is. Celeste, remember. What happened back then? What did you say? And what happened because of it? Think back. Do you really intend to just turn a blind eye to something you don't want to see? Is that really okay? You won't be able to move on. Is your relationship right now so important? You can't destroy that? Remember! Shin. Back then, what I saw was... Celeste, there you are. Are you okay? C can you stand up? Shin, you came for me. Looks like you're out of it. The bleeding's pretty severe. You must have gotten cut by the glass bottle. This is exactly why it's bad to let her. Wait a second, and try not to move. How? Just holding it isn't enough to make the blood stop. I need to get you to a hospital right away. I'll carry you on my back. Hold on. Shin, you're really kind. Can you see me? I heard all over. Everything's all hazy. I can't see well, Shin. Why? Huh? Shin isn't kind enough. Don't you think so too? So why Shin? What are you saying? Why couldn't it be me? <laughs> Toma? No. No way. Why would Toma do such a thing? Why? No, I need to forget this. This was just a mistake. I need to forget everything. Looks like you managed to unseal your memories! Orion. Now I can finally return to where I belong. I can go home. You haven't remembered everything yet, but... The thing sealing all your memories away is gone. 
You'll remember everything soon? A reliable nut is at your side after all. Orion. You're leaving? Yeah. I need to do my job! Once we finish separating, you'll forget all about me. But I'll never forget you. No matter where I am, I'll always be praying for you to be happy. Thank you, Orion. I... I'll be praying for you to be happy too, Orion. Thanks! Bye-bye! Are you okay? What the hell are you doing? You shouldn't just force someone to remember something they wanted to forget. No one's like this, Toma. You think everything's fine. As long as you're protecting her. That's no good. No good at all. Celeste, did you remember? What happened? Can you talk? Yeah. But Toma is... I know you don't want Toma to hear this, but if you don't say anything, we won't know the truth. We need to know everything and see these crimes atone for before we can move on, all right? Do you really intend to let those responsible carry the sin for the rest of their lives? Go ahead. If you remembered, then there's no use in hiding it. Toma pushed me. I mistook Toma for Shin. He got mad and pushed me. Toma. Toma, do you like? You must understand. I've just had many issues with Shin from a long time ago. I got angry when you confused us. Hey. You still spouting bullshit like that? At a time like this? You're the one who's always saying... You're the one who's always said lying can be the best thing to do in certain situations. It's the best thing to do sometimes, because it brings the best results to everyone involved. But, when you try to hide something that's inconvenient to you, it's just a lie. That's wrong, Shin. This is the best path, for me and for everyone else. That's why, no matter what you say, I'll always deny it. So what will you do? You got anything else to throw at me? I got it. Then here's another piece of evidence. Here's pictures of her that are found in your room, among other things. What? I didn't want to bring this up if I didn't have to, but you're still making excuses. Wait a minute, just how did you get your hands on that? I threw all that away. I snuck in and took a few before you dispose of them. I also took a photo of these sitting in your room. When did you? Oh, I see. It's when you took my wallet and said you'd go buy some drinks. You of all people would know that I keep my key in my wallet. That's right. You do realize you committed both theft and trespassing to get that, right? You can't use that as evidence. I know. I know. But that's fine. In fact, I intended to return these photos and items to you, as well as the other evidence. Hmm? My goal was only to get you to admit what you had done, from your own mouth. You weren't afraid that you'd actually be charged with this crime, were you? The thing you were afraid of was us finding out what you had done, wasn't it? You love her, so when she called you by that by name, you couldn't control yourself and pushed her. You didn't want us to know that. You thought if you admitted it, you'd hurt us far more than would hurt you. That's all there was to it, am I right? My goal is already accomplished. Your goal now is impossible. I'm not interested in this evidence anymore. I'll throw it away or give it to the police. Do whatever you want. 
looks like I've lost. This is why I don't like competing with you. I can never just say a game. I feel the same way. In the end, Celeste chose your theory. Tama, is this all true? Do you really? You mean the fact that I pushed you, or the fact that I love you? They're both true. Why? Why are you hiding it? You already know the reason. I know. Still. You love to lie, and at the same time, you had a hard time letting both the good and the bad coexist. You should have just left it as an accident. Then I could have just suffered with this guilt for the rest of my life alone. You're finding out about this as only hurts less more. And if you found out exactly how much I was hurting, we'd all end up suffering in this guilt forever. But, if we don't face the truth, we can't move on. Me, her, and you too, Toma. It's just like before, when I argued with you after her performance. I told you that what you said to her was too harsh. And I told you that what you were trying to do was sweep the truth under the rug and ignore what really happened. After that, I started desperately praying that she would be even better the next year so that I could see her smile. And the next year was really amazing. You remember it too, right? She was like a different person. I believed that the gods had heard my prayers and answered them. I thought it was a miracle. But, when the performance ended, and I saw her rush over to you, smiling, I finally realized everything. I was beyond disappointed. What I had really hoped for was for her to smile at me. The one who was actually thinking about her happiness was you, Shin. In the end, that event led to you two to start dating. I guess the gods saw through my selflessness. That was what I was thinking the entire time. Also, Celeste, how did you not realize anything, any of this until now? Before you and Shin started going out, I asked you so many times to go out with me, remember? He did? I don't remember that. You probably said it really lighthearted. You probably said it really lightheartedly, like you usually do. Pretty much, I was scared. If she started avoiding me, I didn't know how I would continue to live my life. But I did say it many times. I wonder why you didn't realize how I felt. And while I couldn't escape the limits of being a childhood friend to you, Shin was able to manage doing so. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy at all. I was pretty much risking my life. I was prepared to throw everything away. Toma, did you ever confess to her with that level of determination? No. The only reason you were able to do something like that is because you're impulsive. I had loved her for so long, but after being so close to her for that long, even as a sort of sibling, I couldn't risk it. Yeah, worried. Even if I was in your procession, I still would have confessed. The length of time you felt that way doesn't matter. Stop trying to come up with excuses for your cowardice. You lost the moment you decided you were too scared to take a risk for her. I couldn't give her up to someone like that. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's exactly as you said. And from a long time ago, I wanted to be able to do that like you. Hey, do you still remember when she started talking about marriage? Back when we were kids? I already liked her since way back then. And that's why I got flustered. But even back then, you came in from the sidelines and snatched her up. I don't remember. Wow. Yeah, well, you're that kind of guy. 
Celeste, do you remember? Did that really happen? I remember proposing to you, Toma. But is that really the end of that story? Toma, when we grow up, we should get married. What? You too, Shin. We'll all be together forever. Okay, sounds good. Wait, you two. You know you can only get married to one person, right? The most important person. Three people can't do that. Really? But I like you both the most. That's no good. You'll have to choose one person someday. What? But? Hey, don't cry. Then you should marry me. I'll be with you forever. Won't that be good? What? Why did you get to decide? Jin, you'll really marry me? Yeah. I like you the most after all. Thank you. I like you too, Shin. Let's be together forever. It's a promise. Yeah. It's a promise. I remembered. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Toma. I can't believe I did that. This isn't your fault at all. It's not Shin's fault either. Although you were both just a tad slow. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I'm the one who should apologize. I did something terrible to you. And I couldn't stop lying. I'm sorry. It caused a lot of suffering for you, for Shin, too. Sorry. I'm really sorry. I don't know how much you've had to put up with until now. I don't even know how shocking it must have been for you to be mistaken for me. But, regardless of the reason, you hurt her. I can't for ever forgive that. You don't have to forgive me. In fact, you shouldn't. Clench your teeth. Can't believe Shin actually punched Toma. Toma! Ouch. Yeah. Thanks for that, Shin. Don't think that hurt only for you, idiot. Yeah. I won't forget that. Anyway, I'll be paying a visit to the police. Mind if I take this evidence? You were giving it to me, right? Go ahead. Toma! We'll be waiting for you! Thanks. I guess we should go too. Where? It doesn't matter. Oh, I know. How about Crayfish Park? Did you not want to remember? Huh? Did I go too far? Didn't I just hurt the two of you? That's not true. I knew it would be painful for you, but I couldn't just leave th this entire burden on Toma. I thought he would feel a little better if he could confess everything and apologize. He could finally put it in the past. I wanted him to atone for this and move on. I didn't want him to just keep making sacrifices himself and have to live with them. Yeah, I know. But it's still not my fault. Because I've been monopolizing you since childhood. childhood. I stole you away. I put all that stress on him. Shin. And what's with him wanting to be more like me? He's gotta be an idiot to think like that. I'm the one who's always went, wanted to be more like him. I always thought I could be kinder to you. I wish I could be, just like him. But I don't know how to do that. 
how I always end up hurting you. Toma's a lot more worthy than I am. I don't see at all how he could feel inferior to me. And besides, if I hadn't been so forceful with you, you wouldn't have fallen off that cliff. If I hadn't done that, this incident might have never happened. It's all been my fault, from the very start. Shin, that's enough. If I had realized how Toma felt about you, I would have taken a chance to think about him before confessing to you. If I had hesitated in confessing to you back then, maybe something might have changed for the better. You might have even started seeing Toma in a different light and chose him instead. I'm the one who butted in insensitively without knowing or thinking of anything. There's no mistaking that. I'm the one who pushed him this far over the edge. I'm sorry. It's okay. But I couldn't just sit still when it came to you. Even if I knew this would be the result, I wouldn't have been able to help it. Even knowing that it ended up destroying everything, I still would have stolen you away. I was in love. And I didn't know what else I could do. Shin. It's alright if you blame me. But I'll never let you go. I'll make you so happy. Even that idiot Toma will be able to laugh about all this. August 31st. Apparently, Toma isn't going to be prosecuted. Really? It's not 100% certain yet, but the detective investigating me said that's how things are looking. I see. That would be nice. Even if, even if he was prosecuted, it would just be for bodily harm. He's the first offender and he's shown remorse, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'll let Iggy and Kent know about this too. Both helped us out a lot after all. And of course I told Sawa. I thought of telling Yukio, but it's been out of contact for a while. I see. A lot of people helped us out. I hope Toma gets back quickly. When he does, this time we're hanging out. All three of us, okay? Yeah, I'll consider it. You really do like Toma, though. Why? What do you mean, why? Because Toma's like an older brother to me. Because he's kind, unlike me? If you realize that, you should make more of an effort to be kind. I want to, but I don't really know how. He's good at the kind stuff. And that's why you're always smiling when he's around. It seriously makes me jealous, so... I don't like having him nearby. I'd be a lot happier if you treated me nicely, you know? How exactly? Maybe you could hold my hand? No way. That's embarrassing. See? You aren't being nice. You call that kindness? I seriously don't get it. Even if you don't get it, you should just do it. It'd make me happy. Fine. Give me your hand. Okay. I can't take it. It's too embarrassing. Why? Because it's like we're in elementary school. I have memories of walking around with you like this. This is completely different from back then. It's no different. What's the different about it? I can't really explain it. But you're going to be kinder, right? You can listen to what I want once in a while. Can I ever not listen to what you wanted? Tons of times. Like when? He once asked where I wanted to go. I said the zoo, and he said he didn't want to. 
That's where kids go. I was always asking to go to in your room, but you never let me. I didn't want you to know I was practicing the bass until I got good at it. You've never said I love you. What? Of course I have. You always add it to something else, like, it annoys me because I love you. You never actually said it on its own. You already know what the deal is. So that should be enough. You always kiss me whenever you want to, but you never ask me when I want to. That's not very nice. I'll go to the zoo after I finish my exams. I already found out about the base, so you can come into my room. Also, I love you. You had it also. Oh, give me a break. I said it. I love you. I love you so much. I really do love you. There. Is that good enough? Yep. I love you too. And the credits again. And Memories of Shim has been a lot. It was love all along. Oh. Of course it was. Shin will always be my number one. And, yep, I got both their memories. I'll probably do a different video for those. One ways, guys, that's it for Shin's route. I finally got the good ending. And I'm pretty happy. I finally re romanced Shin the right way. Now I think I'll have a better handle on the choices whenever me and Novafire do the Tomas and Kim's route. And Yuko's, of course, whenever we finish all the two. One of these guys, I'm Celestia Shadows, and thank you for watching Amnesia Memories. But that's it for now, until the next route, which still hasn't been decided yet. Either Toma or Kent, but I'm leaning towards Toma since because of Shin's route. One of these guys, I'm Celestia Shadows, and thanks for watching once again, but bye for now.